All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just said, Shalom, to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this lesson, okay, this topic. Um, basically, is it okay to judge? Okay. And I want to uh, show through the scriptures and even through uh, ex uh, examples, you know, of how it is okay to judge. And people who say, you know, I don't judge and stuff like that, they don't understand that, you know, you judge every day, man. You know, you judge every day. If you, if you uh, are, are of age... And you know that you have to wake up to go into the, to, to, to work, you know, uh, judging uh, righteously. Don't you understand that, you know, if you don't go to work that, you know, you're not going to have a job or, or uh, you, you might not be able to pay the bills and stuff like that. OK, isn't that, you know, just uh, uh, smart? The smart thing to do is just to, to wake up and, and, and go to work, right? You know, um, so people judge all the time. OK, now, according to the scriptures and uh, it's pretty much to the point of, you know, us here at, at Great Millstone, you know, the 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 um, the brothers who, who teach this word. OK, um, the Israelites, we believe in what the scriptures say, man. So we're going to do and we're going to bring out exactly what the scriptures say. Whether people want to listen to it or whether they don't want to listen to it. Okay? A lot of people sit up there and they, you know, they they get this this idea that we're not supposed to judge from the so-called white man. Okay? When the the white man has judges in the, in the court system and everything, man. What you think these polices are, man? Or policemen are. Okay? But with that said, I want to get into the scriptures. John 7 and 24. Uh, judge not according to the appearance. Right? So you can't, you're not, you, you, it says, but judge righteous judgment. You're not supposed to just look at somebody and just, you know, say, oh, um, I know that you're a good person. You know, I don't judge. You know, I can just look at you and I can just tell, or oh, you're beautiful, you know. When that that type of mindset is foolish, man. And I got the definition for a uh, fool, okay. The definition in the Merriam-Webster de Dictionary of fool is a person lacking in judgment or prudence, okay. So if, if it's not okay to judge, then you're saying that it's basically okay to be a fool to people man okay because a fool lacks judgment man okay it said like here goes an example only a fool will ride a motorcycle without a helmet okay and you got people that you know that that will sit up there and say yeah that makes sense you know well it makes sense to follow what the what, what the scriptures say man okay and the, and the people who who disagree, man, you you know that that's what makes sense to you. The scriptures say, uh, "He who is ignorant, let him be ignorant." Okay. So if you want to be, you know, ignorant and not do what the scriptures say, okay, judging according to what the scriptures say, okay, the scripture says that you know you you're not going to get get far with that that way of thinking, man. So when the Lord uh, comes to to judge you and and uh, you know, for, for not listening to his word, that's that's you uh for being a fool, man. Okay. Um some more examples. It says, uh those fools who ride motorcycles without wearing helmets, okay, only a fool would ask such a silly question. You be a fool to believe what he tells you. You you would be a fool to believe what anybody tells you, man. In this society, man, because in the school system, they sit up there and they make you, uh, they force feed you into um, what they want you to believe, man. Okay, 
they're saying that it's more genders than just male and female. And people are okay with this. You know, because, hey, they, the, the so-called white man is just playing our people for fools, man. You know? Because our people lack judgment. The only thing that they know is based off whatever the white man tells them, man. You know? Um, so it says you, you, you would be a fool to believe uh, what he tells you. You know, a lot of these women had that mentality also. You know, I don't judge and stuff like that. But, hey, the, the, the scriptures say what they say, man. You know? And then even when you look at the examples out here in this world... Some of y'all women don't know whether uh, a, a guy is real or not, man. You know? Because you don't, you don't know how to judge men characters or whether they really are men of the Lord. Because a man of the Lord, you know, is going to uh, be one of the best guys out here that you can really deal with, man. You know? But people been in this society too long to understand what uh, righteous judgment is, you know? Because the scriptures say, once again... But judge righteous judgment. Okay? Now, going into the dictionary for the word judge. Okay? It says to separate, put asunder, to pick out, select, choose. Okay? Somebody, uh, it says to judge, determine, condemn, go to law, call in questions, um, esteem, uh, miscellaneous. Right? So, if somebody steals from you. Okay? And you know that this person is a bona fide thief. Are you gonna leave your stuff around them? No, because you know that hey, you want you want your uh, stuff uh, unless it's going you want it stolen. Okay, it says to approve, esteem, prefer. And I'm sorry, I want I want I gotta play the the the, um, the Greek definition of the word. Strong's G twenty nine nineteen, Krino. Crano. Uh crano, okay? It says to be of an to be of opinion, deem think to be of opinion. To deem resolve decree. I mean to determine resolve decree. To judge, to pronounce an opinion concerning right right and wrong. To be judged, i.e. someone to trial that one case may be examined and judgment passed upon it. Okay, like I said, like you, you go to court, they judge you, okay, according to these uh wicked uh laws. And we not we not we're not out here uh, putting people to death, okay. First off, we can't do that in this society. A lot of people are committing adultery or you know, they're uh touching on little girls and you know, uh stealing and uh uh, committing murder and stuff like that. We can't put people to death. You know, even when, when they do uh, wicked stuff like that. So you people who sit up there and you say, uh, we, uh, who am I to judge you? You people don't have no idea what the hell you're talking about, man. Because the so-called white man be sending sending our people to jail for, for the dumbest reasons, man. But then their people, you know, uh, get off for, for the craziest things, man. You know? The, the, the white man care more about dogs' lives than they care about you, you niggas, man. You know? But we not, we not supposed to judge. Okay? Um, it says, to pronounce judgment to be censored of those who act the part of judges or arbiters in matters of common life or pass judgment on the deeds and words of others. And that's what we supposed to do, man. We supposed to judge people in, in the matters of common life. Or, or the things that they do and the, uh, the words that they say, okay? According to the scriptures, okay? Because if you're not speaking according to what the scriptures say, you know, the scriptures say that you don't have light in you, okay? And um, that's all I'm going to get on that. Um, continuing on, Deuteronomy 19 and 15. It says, One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity. Or for any sin. And any sin that he sins. At the mouth of two witnesses. Or at the mouth of three witnesses. Shall the matter be established. Right? You know, in this society they say that, that one person. You know. Can, can, can rise up against another person man. You know that's not how the scriptures does things man. Okay? 
It says, if a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priest and the judges. Okay, so if we're not supposed to, if judging isn't okay, then why, why do the scriptures say that there's judges, man? Okay, it says, which shall be in those days, and the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and behold, if the witness be a false witness, and have testified falsely against his brother, then shall you do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shall you put evil away from among you. So if a person comes up, says some false stuff to you, okay, and they saying like, okay, this guy needs to uh, um, get put to death, or uh, he needs to pay me um, because he stole something or, or he took something from me, okay? Well, that person who, who lied, that person has to uh, um, pay that man back, man. Okay, okay, it says, And th those which remain so hear and fear, and so henceforth commit no more such, I mean, no more any such evil among you, because we have a lot of false witnesses out here, okay? And your eyes so not pity. So we're not supposed to pity just somebody just because they, you know, bearing false witness, man. Because bearing false witness is a serious thing, man. People got put to death, you know, based, and they still do get put to death because of the, the false witnesses that, that is being placed out here, man. A lot of guys getting put to death because of, uh, of women, you know, and these women out here, are, are, you know, bearing false witness, man. You know, uh, a lot of... Uh, bad family members and stuff like that, you know, they they go out here and they go do some wicked stuff, you know, and then they come, they 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 they, they get uh, they get beat up for it or something happens to them, okay, and then they go get their 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 family members and they make it seem like they was always right, you know what I'm saying in the process, and then their family members come and they try to shoot the guy who who, who beat up the, the the wicked uh family member or whatever, you know. So the case that that bearing false witness gets people put to death, man, in this society. But in the scriptures, man, if you bear false witness, you know, you 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 going to get put to death, man. Okay? It says, "In your eyes so not pity, but life so go for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot." Okay? And the reason why the scriptures say that, you know, we not supposed to go eye for eye in this society is because if we was to do that, the so-called white man, the wicked judge that he is, you know, he's going to come in between and he's going to he's going to throw you into the court system, man. Okay, you're going to go to jail for 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 taking somebody's eye, even though that they took your eye. Okay, they he, they they're going to put you in jail for that, you know, for for attempted murder or something like that, you know, and it's that's wicked, man. Okay, so continuing on. This is John 7 and 51. Doth our law judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? Okay? So people sit up there and they say, oh, we not supposed to judge or I don't judge and stuff like that. Okay? Or oh, why you why you uh, judging people? Are you perfect? And, you know, that old crazy bull crap, you know? The thing is, the scriptures say, you know, the the... the you're not supposed to judge somebody before you before you hear what what they did or or the wrong that they did, man. Before you hear them out, okay. And if and if after you hear that, you go according to what the scriptures say, you'd be like, okay, well, according to the scriptures, man, you're off, okay. And that's the same way with what what how these uh what what they try to do in these courts, you know. Or oh, this person did this. Well, according to the, the state rules and uh, Maryland, you know, we got to, th th this charge get, carries this amount of uh, penalty or whatever. And that's what they do, man. Well, according to the scriptures, the, the, the charge that you do, okay, whatever you're charged with, you know, it's, it comes with a, a certain penalty, man. Okay? Every, every penalty does not... Re require death man okay there are there are things that you know is, as far as what the scriptures say that that are uh worthy of death you know like committing adultery which is 
sleeping with a, a woman that is another man's woman, okay? If a woman doesn't have a man, then that's not adultery, man, okay? But sleeping with another man's woman is adultery. And that's something that's, that's that you could get put to death for, okay? But in this society, that happens all the time, man, you know? Um, continuing on, it said, Proverbs 18 and 13, He that answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and a shame unto him. And what is folly once again? Okay? A person lacking in judgment or prudence. <coughs> okay? Which, it goes into to sinning, man. Okay? You, you can't, you can't just, just, you know, answering matters before, or, or judging people just off the, the fact that, you know, uh, you, you, off your own vain opinion, man. You got to go according to what the scriptures say, man. Okay? 1 Corinthians 6 and 2. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? So this scripture right here, man, even though the other scriptures that are posted up, you know, or brought out, you know, this scripture right here clearly shows you that it's okay to judge, man, even in smallest matters, okay? It says, know ye not that we so judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then you have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your same, is it so that there is not a wise man among you no, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. Okay? So the thing is, I want to get this word wise. Okay? See what this word wise says. Okay? The definition for wise is popping up. Oh, here it go. It says, uh... Character, characterized by wisdom, marked by deep understanding, keen discernment, which that's a good word, discernment. It says, in a capacity for sound judgment, okay? Good judgment, okay? So, a person that is, that is wise, okay, is going to have good judgment, okay? That's how you know the difference between a person that is wise and a person that is a fool, a fool doesn't have judgment. A wise person has good judgment. Okay? So the thing is that in this life, okay, there are things that we we can we can judge, man. Okay, and it's okay to judge according to the scriptures. It's, that's that's the main thing that, that, that we go back on. Okay? The scripture says this, so that's wrong. Okay? Or even the things that are in this world, you know? Hey, hey, you you got all you got this uh, fancy car, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when it comes down to, uh, or or let's say, I'm not going to use the, the car example. Let's say somebody has uh, tons of shoes or something like that, okay? Or you buy a watch and you catch a, 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 a expensive watch and you you uh, on the bus, you know? That's that's judgment, man. So it's okay to judge, okay? That's that's stupid to to buy an expensive watch and you know that you know you that money that you bought with that watch you could have went to go buy a car, you know. So the thing is, we it's okay to judge, okay. And continuing on, I got a little bit more. Proverbs seventeen and fifteen: He that justifies the wicked, okay, and he that condemns the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord, okay. So you can't justify the wicked. If somebody is wicked, which the Caucasians, the so-called white white people, are wicked by nature, okay? Uh, they they don't believe in the scriptures. They don't believe in the Lord. They're saying that a person can change their sex from a transgender or, or from uh, from a male to a female, okay? Or be whatever the hell sex they want. And people are saying that that's okay. And if you disagree with it, you know, they're condemning you and saying that you're wrong, you know? So that the Lord says that both of those those scenarios or situations are abomination unto him, okay? 
Proverbs 24 and 23. These things also belong unto the wise, right? Which the wise, once again, is the, the people who have deep understanding, keen discernment, and a capacity for sound judgment or good judgment, okay? These things belong unto them. It is not good to have respect of persons and judgment, okay? And that's what people do, you know? You know that your, your family member is the most wicked person out here, but you don't judge, so you 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 gonna back your, your your family member up, or just because a person has a certain amount of money, you know you gonna look at that person and you are gonna you know uh, listen to his uh, way he got to say over a person who doesn't have money. Okay, so it's not good to have a respect of persons and judgments. Okay. Just because you know somebody and you don't know somebody, you're going to look at them and say, oh, yeah, that per I know this person, but that person, I, I don't know you, so I ain't going to respect you. You know, that's not that's not good, man, and that's not wise. That's that's wicked. OK, this is uh, Malachi um, three and 13. OK, um. It's Malachi 3 and 13. It says, Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet you say, Where have we spoken so much against you? Okay, because all these people always say that they believe in God and stuff like that. But when it boils down to is they don't. You have said, It is vain to serve God. And what profit is it? We have kept his ordinance because you have to be in order. Okay, and that's, this is... This is um, this is what, what the scriptures bring uh, uh, tell us to do, man. Okay? Like, if you went in court and, and, the, and the courtroom is getting rowdy, okay, what do the judge say? You know, order in the court. Okay? So, coming into this truth, man, okay, the, the Lord is the judge and he has he has, he has has order in his, in his truth, man. Okay? So, it says, what profit is it that we kept his ordinance and that we walk mournfully before the Lord of hosts, right? And this scripture is going to go into the next one that I have in Luke. Okay, it says, And now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, they that tempt God are even delivered. Okay, because there is a lack of judgment out here. Okay, people don't want to listen to what the scriptures say. Okay, they don't believe in the scriptures because for whatever reason they think that, you know, is uh, man-made, okay, which that's going to go into the next lesson that I'm going to do, you know, about how religion is a man-made philosophy or uh, are man-made philosophies, okay? The scriptures aren't man-made philosophies, okay? It says, they that tempt God are even delivered because there is no judgment. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him, for them that feared the Lord was the book of remembrance is the Bible, man. The Bible is a book of remembrance, man, because what what in this society, man, you know, it's no when, when you try to remember the things that 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 happened in this society, our people was put into slavery. Okay? They 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 taking that out of the, the, the uh slave books, okay? Or or they taking that out the school books, okay? They don't even speak about the fact that they, they took this land from the Native Americans, okay? But all of these things are written in the scriptures of the, the American slavery, the fact that they took this land from the Native Americans, okay? That the fact that the so-called white man then destroyed every place that he went to, man, and stole everything, man. Okay, so continuing on, it says, A book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name, Okay? Because the Lord has a name, and I said it before in the video, is Yahweh, which is the Most High, <coughs> and Yahweh Shah, which is the Son. Okay? It says, And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, and that day when I make up my jewels, and I spare them as a man spares his own son that serve him, then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serves God and him that serves not. Okay, now going into this word discern, okay, it says to see, look at, inspect, perceive, consider, okay, so a person that considers themselves to be 
um, a man of the Lord or, you know, if you think that you are, you're supposed to be looking out here and seeing <coughs> who who is actually doing what the scriptures say. And when you look at who actually is doing what the scriptures say, you you got to look at the men of Great great Millstone because we're doing exactly what the scriptures say, man. Okay? Exactly. You know, we're not, we not twisting and turning the words to what we want it to be, man. Okay? So with that said, I got one last scripture, and I'm going to close out. <coughs> it's Luke 12 and 56. You hypocrites. You people sitting up there saying it's not okay to, 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 to judge. You hypocrites. You can discern the face of the sky and of the earth. But how can how is it that you cannot discern this time? Okay? You people can't discern that or, 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 or see or consider the fact that our people... Are put in a slavery for a reason, man. You can wake up, you can see that, you know, oh, I, we're not supposed to be eating GMO foods and all this stuff like that. You can see those type of things, but when it comes down to, to, to being the spiritual things, you can't see it, man. Okay? Because that's all y'all care about is seeing what's, what's right in front of y'all. Okay? Y'all only care about the things that, you know, that, that y'all was taught. To believe, man. Okay? <coughs> what you was taught to believe that it's not okay to judge. But you've been judging your whole entire life. And no scriptures in there talks about we're not supposed to judge. It just brought it out that we are supposed to judge. And even the smallest matters, man. So with that, man, hopefully this was edifying. Okay? With that, I want to say Salawam till next time.